Today I want to show you how to sew the pocket bags. First cut out a small piece of interfacing and place it at the end of the pocket opening. Then press. The darts need to be pressed towards the front. On pocket bag 1 you will find a notch and that notch marks the side seam. So take the pocket bag and place it like this and give it some pins. It's very important that you mark where you have to stop the stitch and that is where you ended the where you ended the dart and that's right here. Now place the pocket bag and it needs to have a gap of one centimeter from the side seam. And then take the other pocket bag and place that on top of your pocket flap. Pin all layers together. Also here you need to stop your stitch at a specific point and that is where the pocket flap ends. Now it's time to sew the upper the pocket bag, that's pocket bag one, and you just sew, sew with one centimeter. Here it is very important that you end your stitching exactly where your um, dart ends. So you can see here. So the two um, stitches um, matches up. Then sew the lower part of your pocket opening, also with one centimeter, and you need to stop that stitch exactly where your pocket bag ends. And then give it a good back stitch. Here, oh, I need a stitch or two more, so I just continue and then back stitch one more time. Now it's time to make some small cuts, so it will so it will be possible for you to turn the pocket bags. It's very important that you only cut in the front side piece, not in the pocket bag or the flaps. So cut and stop right before the stitch. Do the same here on the top. Just make a small cut. Like that. Because now you can actually turn the pocket bags. But before we can finish the pocket and um, sew the two pocket bags together, we need to understitch um, the small pocket bag or what we call pocket bag two. And stop the stitch exactly where your pocket flap ends. Now it looked like this. On the front side it looked like this and on the back side it looked like this. Start to turn the lower pocket back and then you just give it a press. And then the other pocket back and just pull out the seam allowance and then press the seam allowance upwards. And now you actually are going to pin your pocket bags together. And then here, because the pocket bag is a part of the pocket opening, you have to pull out the seam allowance you got when you made the two cuts earlier and this seam allowance is actually going to be a part of your pocket bag seam. Then align the two pocket bags so they are exactly on top of each other and then pin them together so you'll be ready to sew the seam. Actually, what you're going to do now is that you're going to continue the stitch you made when you made the dart. And then you have to sew the small piece 
that you got when you um, cut into your front side piece to turn the pockets and then you just sew around after that just finish the seam of the pocket back I do it with an uh, overlock you can also do it with bias binding um, but this is the fastest way to show you now the pocket is almost finished but to get this very round and feminine look around the hip you have to pin the side seam of the dress together with the side seam of the pocket because then the pocket will stand out um, of the um, the dress when the dress is finished. 